Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some DIY notebook cover ideas. I wanted to do 10 designs, but I kind of ran out of time, so that's why I'm going to be showing you how to do seven. There should also be a new video over on my second channel. It's going to be a watermelon squishy. I think I'm going to upload that video today or tomorrow because I still have to edit the video. Um, so as soon as that video goes live, I'll have a link for it down below. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do enjoy it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And now without further ado, let's get right into the video. For this DIY, I bought some mini composition notebooks from the dollar store. They were $1.25 for three notebooks. And what I'm going to do is take some acrylic paint and paint the entire cover with the pink. I did mix in a little bit of white to lighten up the color. And the first notebook that I'm showing you is the pineapple one. So now I'm taking some yellow acrylic paint and I'm making a pineapple oval egg like shape. I'm going to fill that in and you might need to do a second coat just to make sure that the paint isn't patchy. I'm going in with a medium green and I'm going to draw on the leaves like so. With a slightly darker shade of yellow, I made some diagonal lines. Now I'm going to draw on a cute laughing face. This is completely optional, but this is actually my favorite part. So I made big eyes, the mouth, I made the details inside the eyes, and then I also added some pink blush. And this is the first completed notebook. Next, I'm going to show you how to make the ice cream sandwich notebook. For this, you're going to need air dry clay. I'm using Motto Magic, but you can use any lightweight clay that you may have. So what I did is I rolled out the clay. It's not too thick, but it's not too thin either. I just put the clay on top of the cover and I basically just covered it up. Then I'm just going to flip it over and cut off any extra clay. The best part about this is that you don't have to do much shaping of the clay so it's so easy to make and literally I'm telling you guys this was probably the easiest one out of all of them and it looks so realistic once you're done. Anyway now I'm going in with the end of a paintbrush and I'm going to make the little indents that a normal ice cream sandwich would have. So you just want to make that. Make sure that you make them kind of deep because we are going to paint the clay afterwards. Let this air dry for about 12 hours. Once it was completely dry, I went in with some brown acrylic paint and I'm just going to paint the entire thing. There is the completed ice cream sandwich notebook. For the third notebook, I already went in and I painted it with some white. Then I took some tape and I'm just going to place that down like so. Normally I would use clear tape to do this, but I used washi tape so that you guys could like kind of see what I'm doing. I'm sponging on the paint using a makeup sponge. Now you can remove the tape and because I didn't wait long enough, my paint kind of started peeling as I took the tape off. So I went in with some white and I'm just fixing that. If you wait longer, I'm sure the paint won't come off, but let's be real, I was kind of impatient. Now this is kind of an optional thing. You could totally paint on a starfish, but I wanted it to be 3D. So I'm using polymer clay and I'm rolling that out. I took a star cookie cutter and I just cut that out. Then I'm gonna go in with some black polymer clay and add on a face. Then you can let that bake in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to use acrylic paint to add on the details for the little starfish. Before I glue on the starfish, I'm going to apply a layer of Mod Podge. You do want to apply a layer of Mod Podge or some kind of a glaze on each notebook that's not only going to give it a really nice shine, but it's also going to protect the paint. 
so I glued on the starfish and that was pretty much it. The next notebook that I'm making is the diamond. I had this super pretty paper and I drew a diamond shape on the back side and all I'm going to do is cut that out. I already painted the cover with some black acrylic paint and I'm going to glue the diamond on. Now all I'm going to do is make these lines. I don't know how to explain this but you can also use a marker for this. Using a pencil, I wrote shine bright at the bottom and now I'm going over it using some white acrylic paint. You could write whatever you want but I thought it was pretty appropriate. And there is the completed diamond notebook. For the next notebook design, I already painted the cover with some white. Using a q-tip, I'm making these really random shapes. They don't have to be perfect, they can be big, small, however you like. Leopard print or cheetah print is one of my favorite designs to do on my nails actually. I used to do cheetah print, leopard print nails all the time and it's one of my favorites. It's super easy to do. Anyway, using a q-tip again, I'm going to outline each shape like I'm doing here and any area that is kind of empty, I'm going to fill it up by adding little spots. Once you're done, don't forget to seal in the paint with a layer of Mod Podge. Next up, I'm going to be making a super adorable mustache face notebook. This is actually the same design that I did on one of my mason jars that you see in the background of my videos all the time. I thought it'd be cute to do it on a notebook. You guys could do like any four of these like mason jar designs on a notebook. They would look really cute. So yeah. I made an outline for the face using a pencil and all I'm doing now is filling it up with some acrylic paint. You could also use markers for this step as well. And there is the completed mustache notebook. For the final design, I'm going to be making a cute watermelon. So I already painted the notebook with a light blue color and then I'm going in and I'm going to make a rough triangle like shape. Then I'm going in with some green acrylic paint and I'm going to outline the bottom. I made little hearts for the seeds and all I'm going to do now is add on a cute face. You could also write something at the bottom if you would like. And there are all of the completed notebooks. Be sure to let me know in a comment which notebook design was your favorite. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I love you so much and I'll see you in my next one.